The FBI is looking into whether the ship's crew members knew there were issues with the ship before they left port the morning of the wreck. Fox 45's Alexa Ashwell spoke with a former member of the federal agency. She joins us live with his take on this investigation. Alexa. Yes, and as we just heard from the governor, accountability is imperative. Former FBI agent Tyrone Power says nothing, no one is ruled out until this investigation is complete. Video of FBI agents boarding the Dolly cargo ship yesterday as the agency officially launched a criminal investigation into the collapse of the key bridge. Former FBI agent Tyrone Power says that likely means a search warrant had been issued. Even if you bring on engineers or electrical specialists or specialists and they say it was mechanical, then you have to make sure that there's not an individual that induced that kind of a situation, especially because it happened right at that location, not earlier, not later on the other side of the bridge, but because it where it happened, um, the FBI will certainly launch a, a criminal investigation. With the FBI's criminal probe now underway, many state and local leaders are launching their own investigations as it pertains to the key bridge collapse. Yeah, and I can't speak to the FBI uh, investigation. Maryland Attorney General Anthony Brown says he anticipates filing future claims and newly passed legislation will give his office greater authority to maximize what can be recovered on behalf of the state. As chief legal officer of the, of the state, my responsibility uh, is to file actions to protect the interests of the state to recover for that damage so whether it's the ship owner uh, or others uh, that's what we're currently doing we're, we're, we're looking at it we're investigating um, and when the time is right we'll bring a legal action so we can maximize the recovery Baltimore City Mayor Brandon Scott also confirming his office will be taking legal action in regards to the bridge collapse but revealing little detail I won't expand because we won't talk about any open and pending litigation for us but as I said before uh, it's my responsibility to the residents of Baltimore, to those impacted uh, businesses, to those impacted families, most importantly, to do everything in our power to bring every single piece of information out and every single resource, anything that we can do to help Baltimore uh, recover. As for a timeline on the FBI's investigation, Powers reiterates this is the FBI's criminal unit rather than its terrorist unit and one investigation can move slower than the other. The criminal investigation starts at the same time. It just moves a little slower. So you may be just getting the search warrant. You may be just identifying what you want to look for. You may have just got the blueprint of the entire ship. So you can ask in a search warrant the areas that you want to search, and you have to justify why you want to search them. You may have had to look at all of that in the cargo and things of that sort. So there's a process to a criminal investigation and Power says, of course, it's too soon to say whether this search will lead to any criminal charges. Reporting live, Alexa Ashwell, Fox 45 News. I'm Kai Jackson. Thank you for watching. Here's another video to watch. Also, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel.